Hi, today we are going to uh, speak about problems involving percentage ratio and fractions, but we are going to use model method to solve these problems. First, let's take a look at the problem itself. Melinda collected 60% more seashells than Angela. Uma collected 35% fewer seashells than Melinda. Melinda and Angela gave Uma some seashells in the ratio 3 is to 1. Uma then had one and a half times as many seashells as she had at first. Given that Melinda had 306 more seashells than Angela in the end, how many seashells did Melinda give Uma? Now when you read the whole question, it looks a bit more complicated, but we can divide this question into multiple parts. The first part, look at this. Melinda collected 60% more seashells than Angela and Uma collected 35% fewer seashells than Melinda. That's one part of the question which is related to the comparison. And the second part is Melinda and Angela gave Uma some seashells in the ratio 3 is to 1 and Uma then had one and a half times as many seashells as she had at first. And the last part of the question is given that Melinda had 306 more seashells than Angela in the end, how many seashells did Melinda give Uma? Now, this is about comparison. Here we know the final state for one of the people here, Uma. Right? So we can actually compare what she had at first to what she had in the end. And here is the number, magic number that we are looking for. This is the only information which is going to tie in all the others to find the answers. Now let's take the first part of the question. Melinda collected 60% more seashells than Angela. So for this statement, let's draw a model. What comes after more than is Angela? So for Angela, we take it to be 100%. Anybody who comes after the more than or less than, we consider them as the reference and we take it as 100%. Now Melinda, we're going to compare it with Angela or in reference to Angela. She had 60% more. So 100 plus 60, she would have 160%. Now we go to the second part. Uma collected 35% fewer seashells than Melinda. Now if you look at it, this is another comparison between Uma and Melinda. And in this comparison, Melinda is coming after fewer than. So Melinda is our reference. So what you're going to do is, whatever Melinda has, the same amount is taken, but now we are going to consider this as 100%. And for Uma, she had 35% fewer, so that's the 35% and which is not with Uma. So Uma has got 35% fewer, which means 100% minus 35% gives us 65%. So that's with Uma. Now this is the comparison that we have and what we know is the amount of seashells with Melinda, that doesn't change. It's the same. But when we compare Melinda with Angela, we are considering Angela's number of seashells to be 100% and so based on that Melinda's number of seashells is 160%. When we compare with Uma, we are taking Melinda to be 100% as the reference and if Melinda is 100% then Uma has 65%. Let's uh, put it down in a table. Angela is to Melinda. Angela has 100%. Melinda has 160%. That is the relationship here. We are showing a relationship here. And when it comes to Melinda and Uma, Melinda has 100% compared to Uma who has 65%. So these two are related and these two are related. Now we can represent the same table or simplify this information in terms of ratio. So 
100% and 160% can be shown as this divided by 20 gives us 5. 160 divided by 20 gives us 8. Similarly, 100 divided by 5 gives us 20. 65 divided by 5 gives us 30. We are simplifying this information so that we can represent the same information in terms of ratio. Now, in the ratio, we know that Melinda has 8 units here, but the size of the total size of the 8 units is going to be the same as the total size of this 20 units. So, we have to find a way. We know that this total quantity is equal. So, we have to find a way to make the unit sizes of the units here and the units here or parts here to be the same. So, that's what we're going to do first. This is the same table that we saw in the previous screen. We take the LCM of 8 and 20, which is 40. And we are going to convert these two into 40. How do we do that? So, this section, that is 8 times 5, gives us 40. So, when we multiply 5, we multiply it to both Angela and Melinda units here. So, 5 times 5 is 25 and 8 times 5 is 40. Similarly, here, we multiply by 2 and Melinda becomes 40 and Uma becomes 26. So, here, you see that Melinda, since the amount of uh, seashells she has is equal, we see that now we have converted the unit sizes also to be the same. So, 25 units is to 40 units and Melinda has got 40 units is to 26 units compared to Uma. So, we can directly represent them or convert them into a ratio between the three users. So, 26. So, it becomes 25 is to 40 is to 26. So, now we have established the relationship between Angela, Melinda and Uma, which is in the ratio 25 is to 40 is to 26. Now, we are going to say Melinda and Angela gave Uma some seashells in the ratio 3 is to 1. Yeah, but with that information, it's not going to be helpful at the moment. What we know is Uma then had one and a half times as many seashells as she had at first. At first, Uma had 26 units of seashells. We don't know the actual number yet. But at the end, she had one and a half times as much as 26. So, if you represent 26 here, then at the end, Uma would have one and a half times. So, it's actually like this is one whole and then this is another half of it here. So, we are representing that in terms of uh, two units at first, which is equal to 26, but finally it becomes three units for Uma. So, since we are dividing this into two parts for ease, we are seeing that two parts is equal to 26 units, which means one part is equal to 13 units. And you can see that this part was what Uma had at the end, which means this was what was given by Angela and Melinda. So, how much Angela and Melinda have given? Again, not in terms of numbers. In terms of units, they have given 13 units to Uma. Now, we continue from there. Melinda and Angela gave Uma some seashells in the ratio 3 to 1. There is another ratio. This is totally separate. So, when we represent this, what we are going to see is Okay, Melinda gave three parts and Angela gave one part. This ratio is not related to this ratio at all. That you have to keep in mind. And But what do we know about this ratio and this ratio is that Melinda and Angela gave 13 units. So, this is actually, this four parts is equal to 13 units. So, what is one part is 13 divided by 4 which gives us 3.25 units. 
you could either represent in decimals or we could actually put it as 3, 1 over 4 units. All would work the same. Now, Melinda gave three of these parts, which means 3.25 times 3, which is 9.75 units in terms of units. We are converting everything in terms of units. And so Melinda, at first, how much did she have? She had 40 at first, but then she gave away 9.75 units. So at the end, Melinda has 30.25 units. And Angela, at the end, had 25 minus 3.25, which is 21.75 units. So now we know that Melinda and Angela, how much they have at the end. And we go to the next part. Given that Melinda had 306 more seashells than Angela in the end. So since we know the number of units Melinda and Angela have in the end, now we can find the difference. Melinda had 30.25 units as we saw on the previous screen. Similarly, Angela had 21.75 units. So the difference between them is 30.25 minus 21.75 units, which is 8.50 units. In terms of units, the difference between Melinda and Angela is 8.50 units. And in terms of seashells, we know that Melinda had 306 more than Angela in the end. So we are going to Continue from there, 8.50 units is equal to 306 seashells, which means 1 unit is equal to 306 divided by 8.5 units, which gives us 36 seashells. So Melinda gave 9.75 units to Uma. The question is about how many seashells did Melinda give Uma? So Melinda gave 9.75 units to Uma or 9 3 by 4 units to Uma. So 9.75 units is actually equal to 9.75 times 36 because one unit is equal to 36 seashells. So that becomes equal to 351 seashells. So that's the amount of seashells Melinda gave Uma. So we have solved this problem. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave your comments so that I could answer back, clarify your questions. Or in case, if you like it, please um, add a like. Or if you dislike it, you can dislike it. And at the same time, if there's anything that I can make to make this video or I can do to make this video more interesting, please leave your comments. I will try to do as much as I can. Thank you. Bye-bye.